Harrison Scott, me hi, what's up? I like this guy. Yeah, I like Saracens. What's up, Shades? How, how's it going, man? When's my next big AV2 goal? 2800 on the ladder, but I decayed 50 points. So that's going to be very hard. But I'll still try for that. going to really grind for 2k8 before the end of the year. I would love to be able to get you guys 2k8 before the end of the year. And then after that, there's you know more tournaments in the future. Uh, you know, just back to coaching, back to streaming. A little left over. That kind of stuff. Uh, a little left over, bro. That's not a little. That's what is that? 1600, 1500 bits. You know, thank you so much, bro. Really appreciate that. Seriously, these bits actually are really, really uh, big support. Thanks a lot, man. Everything's fine. Just finishing big launch. We just finished. Finished big lunch. Lunch or big launch. Were you eating or did you launch something? <laughs> Two different things here. Hello, Left Lloyd. I think I want to squeeze another Best of 21. Remember that Best of 21 series actually that I was doing at some point? I kind of had to stop because we had like two land events in a row. But I think I want to do another one of those. I think those are really fun. Both? Okay. <laughs> launch the rocket into space while eating. Okay, fair. Yeah, but I think the Best of 21s could make a nice comeback here, honestly. Are the Deathball videos recorded before the tourney? Yeah. I might challenge... I've done Yo. I lost the Yo and I beat... Well, Vinchester was the best of 33, but it's something similar. I beat Vinchester and I beat... Who, who else did I play, actually? Was it Leary? I don't remember. Doubt? Oh, Doubt, yeah. Did I play anyone else or no? No, I didn't play Jordan, I know for a fact. Or did I? <laughs> I don't think I played Jordan in best of 21. What was the ending? Yes, I don't know. It seemed like a good idea and it, it felt like it was decent, like live. I said like I enjoyed it, but after rewatching the stream, it was really, really uh, not, not very good. Yeah, kind of a cringy ending. Doubt Yo and Vinge. Okay, yeah, those three. So I'm 2 1. Maybe that's the ones. It's fair enough. Jordan would need a best of 21 split over three days. It's not just Jordan, man. It's Doubt wanted the same, and Viper would want the same as well. Nice idea, but bad execution. Yeah, I think what they should have done, and like Viper told me. <clears throat> it's funny because Viper told me right after the whole thing happened, he's like, yo, I think they should have gave you way more time on stage. I was like, really? I thought it was fine. But like after rewatching it, yeah, I, I answered like one or two questions and then that's it. Like there was literally no winner's interview. Um, so yeah, I, I think what they should have done was let me do the interview and at the end of the interview, ask like one joke question and then surprise me at the end with it, for example. Um, but yeah, they, they did it way too quick, I think. It was like two questions and then boom, out, gone. Almonds, what's up, bro? 31 months. Feels like 31 days. Enjoy the holidays, champ. You deserve it. Thank you, man. Salams. Happy holidays to you as well. I can sit down. Good evening, feedback. Everyone's like, this dude crushed it. They give him five seconds of glory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, I, I didn't really care about it. I, should, I, I was just really happy with the win in general. And I used the time to go backstage and say what's up to everyone anyways. So I didn't really care too much, but... <laughs> definitely not a good thing to, to do in the future. Or maybe not do that at all. <laughs> yeah, I think not doing that at all is probably best as well. I just feel like AoE doesn't need the gimmicks, you know what I mean? I feel like the games are epic enough. This guy's gonna get trapped a little bit here. Oh, damn, close. He wasn't even looking, bro. I could have walled him in on the spot. Damn, let's... Did you check the trophy on your travels? No, because I couldn't fit it, because it was actually a massive trophy. The trophy was sick. Um, but I think we might get it shipped to me, or I might just tell them to hang on to it for now. Uh, that's like the two options. I think they might just hang on to it for now, though, for this year. What has been my favorite series of the year, tournaments or otherwise? 
I think one of my favorites was Leary Viper in this tournament, and then also Mi Leary. I think those two were like pretty epic series in the Grand Melee. Other, other than that, um, I mean, there's been some pretty good series, but I think maybe recency bias, but I think those might have been the best of the year, actually. Did you talk to Artistas a little bit? Yeah, I did talk to him a little bit. Not not too much, because we honestly didn't get to spend a lot of time with um, with him, but in the few moments I, I, I did get a chance to, to talk to him, and he's, he's a really cool guy. I actually like him a lot. I uh, would like to see him more active on AoE for sure. And also, I think I would like to see him get a more impactful role as well in the future. Maybe as like an analyst or like as a, you know, make it, let him talk with a pro player after a game or something. Something like that can be fun. I'm gonna go stable into Arch, by the way. See how that plays out. I think he's going men at arms here though, so maybe stable not the best. Hello, Prit, what's up? Players casting is so good. Yeah, I think people really enjoyed Doubt and Jordan. Dude, the Doubt Nilly cast? Maybe that's one of the reasons I enjoyed that set so much, but the Doubt Nilly cast was absolute class. I, I really, really enjoyed it. Poor range, eh? Hmm. It was somewhat difficult to defend, maybe. To really defend this one. Might sell my stone actually. Um, a bit risky to sell stone here, but I think I want to commit to it. A bit of a lagaroo. That, that lets me get bloodlines early. And like he won't expect me getting bloodlines. And he thinks I still have a tower, you know? So this feels pretty good overall. I just try to fight when Bloodlands kicks in. He's got a lot of spears though, it might be difficult. Hmm. I don't see what I can do here besides just more skeleton prey. That fights, or else it's gonna be pretty awkward. I don't think so. No. That's really bad. Alright, we have to go for a range. Short, literally one scout short. 
Oh, this is really difficult now. You have to continue cutting off reinforcements. <laughs> I have to commit to that, but like, I literally don't belong here. I hope he doesn't find that somehow. Uh, he found it though. Uh, he, he found it. side lucky my scrims run enough to push him away they shouldn't have been though <sighs> misclick it's gonna cost me He's gonna come back around here, I think. Yeah, told you. It sucks, I'm forced to continue making some scouts. I need to attack him or something like that. Can't fight him for now. I need to find that massive archers in my base. Could go lead scrims here. They, if the archers appear anywhere, I'm just dead. Playing full open. Not by choice, he kind of attacked me, forced me to play full open. Is he in the corner? He's, he's got archers around my base somewhere. I'm trying to find them. Um, could we go lead scrims into Mamluk actually?
Oh, here. That's perfect. Well, not perfect. But decent. Pushing back a lot here. That's amazing. I need to see if he's got a stable now. I think he should have a stable. Maybe the tower is not needed? Yeah, stable's here. Nice to distract him enough to run away with the skirms. Tower was needed in the end. Maybe not then, but I would need one eventually. Let's get a second TC right away. Secure me some resources. Somewhat fine, actually. Nice, found him. <laughs> that TC is great. Could I actually trap him here, maybe. Yeah, I could trap him here. He doesn't know it, but I, uh, he's trapped. You will find out very soon he's trapped. Unless he goes back. If he goes back, it's really smart, though. Oh, he actually went back. That's crazy. That was really well done. Sheesh. Maybe he expected something from me. Scared of the lead scrims. I should just get the third TC here, probably. His push isn't really scary anymore. Such a bad trade for him. Oh, he killed 10 bills here. <laughs> that makes sense. That's why he traded so poorly. Uh, that's terrible. <laughs> Oops. Uh, that's terrible. And that explains why he took that. It's fine, he'll lose those. Hold there, are you serious? I do want to work my way towards the castle eventually here. Bit of, bit of a mistake there to not run those guys back. I don't think it's even safe here. castle here ideally but it's just not gonna happen Ok, 
Okay, I want to try to get a castle here. Uh, it's like I, if I lose that castle, I lose the game on the spot. It's so risky. I think I have to do it though. I'm gonna go for it. Nah, if I don't get the castle, I lose anyway. He's on multiple town centers. My game! So bad. Long time, how you been? Here have a free sub tongue. Thank you. 
what do I even make? I need to get the Hussar somehow as well. I need to get the Mamluk Hussar. Next game it will be so much easier to win than this one, but I'll just continue trying for a bit more.
I have no relic, I have nothing. I have no answer to see pops here. Damn it. Took too much damage early. But it was well played from him though. Had I just opened archers, it would have been a lot better, I think. It's, um, it's a really hard game in the mid game. Nothing much I can really do there. Mammoths are kind of worthless. I mean, they were good, but we don't scale that well here because I can never afford to make them too much. Even pros struggle with the goth spam. Yeah, I mean, goth, goth is one of the sieves that if they get to mid late game, it's just hard to deal with always. It's just that the reason why they're not good is that they really struggle in early game uh, oftentimes. If I had went archers, I would have showed the weakness of goth, I think. The scouts kind of plays into their strength. 